So I wanted to do a breakdown of the... Fuck my life. So this is a breakdown of a trade that I took last week on GJ. I took a short from a supply zone that I had marked out. Uh, and I just wanted to break that trade down uh, and show you why it lost, why I took it, and what mistakes I made um, when taking it. So this is the zone that I had drawn out here. Um, I'm on the 30 minute time frame and I have this supply zone marked out. So as we can see, price is bearish. So I'm looking for sales. Now for me, a valid zone is when we have at least three uh, candles. Uh, if it's a supply zone, then three bearish candles at least. And same for a bullish demand zone, uh, three bullish candles. Um, and here we've got one, two, three, four, five bearish candles. So for drawing up my zones, uh, I know some people like to uh, include the whole of this consolidation uh, like that and that would be their zone but for me uh, I like my zones a bit more refined uh, and I do it I draw them from the last bullish candle uh, that made the push down so this bullish candle here just before the push down I draw my zone from wick to wick like so and that would be my supply zone there also for a supply or demand zone to be valid uh, there needs to be a break of structure. So if we bring this up here, here we have structure clearly being broken there. Uh, that's a break of structure for me to the downside. We also have an area of imbalance left here. So that's um, just another added confluence to show that it is a, a good supply zone and we have had aggressive selling. So we've got our imbalance, uh, we've got a break of structure. Now obviously we want price to come up to our zone so that we can find an entry and take a sell from there. We have price coming up here. Uh, if I just replay this and I'll jump to the 15 minute. And if I play price forward a little bit, we have price coming up to our zone. However, it's moving very aggressively rather than what I'd like to see, which is price come up like this and as we approach our zone just starts to slow down slow momentum and then tap into our zone before it sells off however we didn't do that price just came straight up and for me price moving up to my zone aggressively like this would invalidate my zone um, so I'd no longer be looking for a trade from this zone uh, unless we had some uh, break of structures to the downside on the lower time frames and then I could get in that way but for the most part this would invalidate my zone so I wouldn't be looking for a trade however if we go down to the five minute and play price forward we can see this perfect evening star candlestick formation here with these three candles here and this is why I took the trade because uh, for me, this is an entry uh, signal, well, for a sell trade anyway, uh, an even star candlestick formation pattern. I know, like I said, this zone would be invalidated because we had this very aggressive move up to my zone, which indicates that it's much more likely for price to just break. However, since price did print this perfect uh, candlestick pattern, that is why I took the trade. So I did take a sell uh, when this bearish candle closed. I entered there and I had about a 20 pip stop loss just above my zone like that. Um, and then I was targeting a one to three. So basically just back down to this uh, support and resistance zone here. So like I said, technically I shouldn't have taken this trade. However, I did see that uh, perfect candlestick pattern and thought that I'll enter as it was a very good signal. If it was a weaker signal or this bearish candle closed a little bit higher, I wouldn't have entered. However, just because it was such a good uh, formation, that is why I chose to enter. And if I play price, we can just see that it continues up and stops me out. It does eventually can continue higher as well. But yeah, um, price stopped me out. 
and that is exactly why I should have stuck to my rules and not taken a trade as soon as price came up to my zone so aggressively. I should have waited for price to then start coming down like this and then if I got a broker structure on a lower time frame uh, and then a retest and then I could have uh, sold price. However, we didn't get that and price just went up, stopped me out. But yeah, that's exactly why you follow your trading rules and if price is coming up aggressively to your supply or if it's coming down aggressively to your demand zone, I'd stay away until you see at least some extra confluences um, that you can then trade from. However, yeah, that was the trade I took. Um, a 1% loss on GJ, uh, which was completely my fault, my mistake. I diverted from my trading rules and the markets humbled me, which is how it should be. So yeah, stick to your rules rather than rushing into trades.